Hi guys, welcome to the most requested video on my YouTube channel for the 2025 batch which is the most important topics of Comet K and this video includes the important topics from both 11th and 12th and it is specifically meant for those people who are looking to score well in a less amount of time and what are the topics you should not miss if you have very less time left to prepare. So without further ado, let's start the video. One more key thing to note is that this is not for the people who are studying everything and are thorough with both the concepts of 11th and 12th. I will share a separate PDF for those people who have prepared well since a long time but this is specifically meant for those who don't have much time to study but want to make the best out of it. So guys, pause the video right here and go bring a pen and paper because inside the important topics there are going to be subtopics which you should focus on and that is what you're going to write. So let's start with maths first. In maths, algebra constitutes 20% of the exam questions. So you mainly focus on quadratic equations, permutations and combinations, binomial theorem, progressions which are AP, HP and GP and complex numbers. Because complex numbers and all these algebra questions, they are a must in Comet K. Then for calculus, it constitutes 25% of the syllabus in which you have to mainly focus on limits and continuity differentiation and its applications, integration and definite integrals, and differential equations. There is always a question from one of these topics. Then let's go to the third part, which is coordinate geometry. It constitutes 20% of the exam portions and mainly have to focus on straight lines, circles, parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola. Then let's go to vectors and 3D geometry, which constitutes 15% of the questions. Here you're going to focus on dot and cross products, direction, cosines and ratios, and 3D line and plane equations. Do not miss this chapter as it's going to be very easy scoring. Mark it with a star. Let's now go to trigonometry. This is hard, so even if you don't have time, then you can skip this, but try to cover whatever I said before this. So you can focus on trigonometric ratios and identities and heights and distances questions. Next, let's go to probabilities and statistics, which constitutes 10%. So here you're going to focus on mean, median and mode standard deviation and probability theorems. So these are the some of important questions and important subtopics under each important topic. Now you can take a screenshot. Now let's go to everyone's favorite subject, which is the most scoring in Comet K and that is chemistry. And I suggest everyone that even if you're not thorough with physics and maths and yet you want a good score, then complete chemistry portions first because they are directly based from the NCRT textbook. For maths, you can refer to Neha Agarwal Ma'am's YouTube channel because it has concise notes that had helped me during my Comet K time. So without further ado, let's go to chemistry. So in chemistry, we are going to focus on organic first. So chemical bonding is 12% where you, you can focus on like hybridization and all the theories. Then organic chemistry is 15%, which is hydrocarbons, functional groups, aldehyde, ketones, alcohols. You should know all the conversions and all the equations. Basically study everything thoroughly from the NCRT textbook and all the reaction mechanisms, SN1, SN2, E1, E2, all the named reactions you should definitely know. There is a separate PDF for all the named reactions. So make sure you get that and you should be thorough because named reaction is a short short question in Comet K, which will definitely get you the marks you want. Then thermodynamics, which many people find hard, so it's 10 percent, where you're going to focus on the laws of thermodynamics, Gibbs free energy and spontaneity and enthalpy and entropy numericals. Basically, you get numericals from thermodynamics, so make sure you practice that. Then P block elements, which is very easy, so you can start with this. Then it includes properties and preparation, reactions, nitrogen, oxygen and halogens, reactions. All those you need to be thorough, like all the reactions of the P-block elements. Then chemical kinetics, which constitutes 8%, like rate laws, Arrhenius equation, etc. Then coordination compounds is where bonding and ligands, all those theoretical concepts come into picture. So you need to be thorough with the concepts over here. 
solutions and colligative properties where you have all those definitions of boiling point freezing point depression and everything so you need to be like it's theoretical questions so they are easy to solve so don't miss out this topic so chemistry is one of the most scoring subjects you can take a screenshot of the important topics now now let's go to physics for physics i recommend that you use your tuition notes or youtube video referring notes whatever notes you've prepared on your own are going to help you while writing the exam so in physics mechanic constitutes 25% of the question where you have newton laws of motion work power energy rotational motion and gravitation these are the most important topics where you get short short questions then thermodynamics of heat transfer laws of thermodynamics they constitute 12% of the questions then electrostatics there is a definite question from here about 10% of the questions like electric field and potential coulomb's laws all those laws then current electricity you get problems in numericals on ohm's law kirchhoff's law all those numericals you get to solve and then optics which is reflection refraction lenses mirrors all those questions you get and also theoretical questions from ray optics then modern physics where you can prioritize atomic molecules photoelectric effect these are the important questions about 10% of the questions come from here then waves and oscillations where shn simple harmonic motion and sound waves there is a definite question from these two topics so these are some of the important questions from physics where i also told the sub topics so now you can take a screenshot so guys i have detailed out all the important topics from physics chemistry and maths if you need any further help make sure you comment it down below i'll be glad to help you if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to create more such content for you i am so thankful that you watched the video till the end this is ajisha saying signing off please refer to my college guidance playlist for more campus tours and more comic case strategy plan see the strategy plan and how you're going to attempt the paper what are the study mechanisms you can use to efficiently study that are scientifically proven these are some of the videos i recently put so go check them out i'll put it in the description and the comments below so that's all for this video until next time tata bye bye see you